I want to explain something I think I figured out that is absolutely insane and life-threatening, if I'm correct. So with much trauma and terror and suffering, I am, you know, devising a way, I think I've devised a way where I can get more sleep. Where I can open up my jaw so that I'm not closing up as much or as often so that my air isn't being cut off. But it is after I fall asleep. So I, you know, I, I've raised the bed about a foot and, you know, terribly hard on the body, huge change for the body, very painful. And made a splint for my mouth to try to keep that jaw open a little bit. And I'm, I'm beginning to drift off. I'm beginning to drift into sleep. But I'm waking up, you know, traumatized. I'm waking up taking huge uh, gasping, taking huge deep breaths to try to compensate because I think my heart rate and oxygen is, I know my oxygen is dropping too low. My oxygen is dropping low because probably because I'm stopping breathing, probably because my breathing is so shallow and my heart rate is might be going too low again. And so I'm creating more sleep. I've, I've created more sleep, but I'm in crisis because of what's happening to me when I'm asleep. So I'm sleeping. I've devised a way to actually get a bit more sleep, but either I'm stopping breathing or because I have been diagnosed with severe apnea. Either I'm stopping breathing and that's resulting in low oxygen and, and you know, literally cutting off my air supply and waking me. Or maybe my oxygen is low from the heart rate so low and, you know, breaths per minute is so low the breathing is so shallow so i'm in medical crisis i was i was in medical crisis from sleeping so little now i've devised a way to sleep a little bit more my brain's trying to adjust to the huge changes sleeping upright sleeping with this thing literally being able to fall asleep again after years so i've devised a way to actually begin to sleep a bit and when I'm actually falling asleep, there's medical crisis happening. So I was in crisis, I found a way to sleep, and I'm in different crisis now. So you know what I think I have figured out? And this is so wrong that they have left me, you know, left me for dead and left me to devise, to t try to figure any of this out. It's so wrong because I'm not educated, you know? So you know what I figured out? Okay, so now that... I might be sleeping more and am a, sleeping a little bit more. I'm in crisis. So, you know, what I figured out is I probably need to be using CPAP. Now that I've found a way that my body might be able to sleep, I, prob I probably absolutely need CPAP to stay alive. But you know what I realized about CPAP? When I started this a couple of years ago, and I was 100% compliant because, you know, I'm, I'm in absolute medical crisis. So when I, so when I started this, I was mouth breathing or my mouth was lax. 
when I started this, you have to force yourself to learn to sleep with your mouth closed no matter what. And this forces your jaw closed. The strap goes around to the back like this and forces that, clamps that jaw shut and forces your mouth shut and you receive positive airway through your nose. So this has to stay shut. And you know what I realized is that pushes my jaw back, which collapses the tongue, which literally prevents me from sleeping. So wearing CPAP, whether it's this or a nasal mask, if you're wearing a nasal mask, you have to wear a strap to literally clamp that jaw shut so that this, all your air is coming through the nose. So with CPAP, my jaw is being forced shut. And with my jaw being forced shut, when I fall asleep, it relaxes, falls back, taking the tongue back and my airways closing up. So what I realized just this moment is the, you know, two and a half years of 100% compliant with this godforsaken machine literally was making my apnea worse because it's, it's ramming my jaw back. And the tongue goes with that and, and things are collapsing more. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. So wearing CPAP literally prevents me from falling asleep because I'm collapsing before I can even fall asleep. So now that I've devised a way to sleep a bit more without CPAP propped up opening my jaw a little bit I'm finally reaching deep sleep but I'm stopping breathing because I'm collapsing back presumably the jaw relaxes and last night I fell asleep just dead tired woke up 25 minutes later just because I'm stopping breathing I think and then it took me a couple hours to fall asleep, slept again for less than an hour. So I've found a way to achieve sleep. I just can't, I can't find a way to stop breathing, to stop the stopping breathing. So the insanity of this is literally CPAP is making me worse. It's ramming my jaw back. So what's the solution? Is, is a tracheostomy really the only solution? Because all the trach people are, are, are saying, for God's sake, don't do it. I wouldn't wish, wish this on their worst enemy. The alternative is going to be suicide, really. Unless, you know, no provider has had a realistic conversation with me about any of this. To, to discuss the options. No, my family doctor failed me. The ENT wasn't having in-depth conversations with me. Now I'm too scared to call him. I'm, I'm, I, I can't do this on my own. I'm uneducated. I'm in medical crisis. I sleep two or three hours a night and I shouldn't be navigating this by myself. I shouldn't be in medical crisis by myself. I shouldn't be having to mechanically figure all this out by myself. I shouldn't be alone and not even have access to someone to have, you know, in-depth conversations about this troubleshooting. I think CPAP literally made me in a worse state of medical crisis because it was making the apnea worse. It was closing off my airways even worse. So now that I've found a way to fall asleep, I'm stopping breathing. What's the solution? CPAP isn't because it'll ram my jaw back. It'll keep my jaw back. It'll keep the tongue closing up. 
So what's what's the other option? I have to move this draw forward, maybe. And you know what? There might be solutions. There might be other solutions. It's just I don't have medical care. <laughs>